without being humble, mm -hmm. can you tell me what made you such a great goalkeeper? <laughs> what was your gift? It's like being humble. Very humble, without Tommy. Doing the Very humble Tommy. Without doing the Dunny goal. Without doing the Dunny goal. Oh, sure, you knew I was just oh, jumping here and jumping there. I was lucky. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what made me a great goalkeeper? Um, I don't know, maybe fearless was part of it. You know, look at some goalkeepers that go in a 1v1 situation and turn their head away and stuff. Like, I would go head, knee, whatever it takes, and do anything. Wow. I punctured my bowel once, would you believe, diving in someone's feet. Yeah. Punctured your what? Bowel. Your bowel? Yeah. So. So you go to a game, I played West Ham away. For two or three minutes to go, I'll come sliding out and, and the strikers come in with his knees, I think, and punctured my boil. So I was obviously off, rushed to hospital. I was out for, I think, three months. And then the first 1v1 situation the next, I was straight at the by his feet, like as if it's never happened. And, and I'm sort of proud to say that because it's like, that's just me, that's my mindset. Whatever it takes to stop the ball going that way, yeah. then I'm going to do it. Like, and if I puncture my boil again, then they can open me up, take me barrel out, stitch it back up again, stick it back in, stitch me up again, I'll be back in three months. Because the most important thing was that he didn't score that day at West Ham. The ball, I kept the ball, we won the game. Yeah, yeah. It's something that's inside you. It's very rare you can coach that, you know, bravery or fucking stupidity. <laughs> Don't know what you want to call it, like, but it's in there, you know.